is on symbols. Uh, a symbol is kind of a cross between a regular letter, right, regular characters such as one of these, uh, and clip art. It looks like clip art, but it acts like a letter. Now, you'll have a document such as this one, typed, left aligned, nothing fancy, and now your job is to try to make this look good. Now, you have all kinds of options at your disposal. You'll be able to use your alignment features, right? You can align things certain ways. You can center and you can make text different sizes. You probably want to center this as well. Okay. Might want to center this text as well. This you can justify if you'd like. Right? And then we'd make the sizes probably bigger for all of those things. And if you want to dress it up, you can add some symbols. Now, if you want to add a symbol, it's simply insert. So you have to go to insert tab right here. And you get this ribbon. And now you go down here to symbol. Now, if you click symbol, it gives you a few uh, basic ones. And it may give you one that you just used recently. I just happened to use this little beach one uh, recently, so it's showing up there. However, to see the big list of symbols, go to more symbols. And here you have a huge menu of different types of symbols. You can literally spend an entire day going through all of these types of symbols. Um, in Wingdings, a lot of the basic popular ones are in a style called Wingdings. And through the book, we're going to be probably referring you back to Wingdings all the time. However, there's also Wingdings 2 and Wingdings 3. And there's Webdings, which has some cool ones. That's where I got the beach one from. So those are my four that I refer to on a regular basis. But feel free when you need to scroll through the rest to see what's in them. It's kind of neat. Now, I'm going to go back to Wingdings here. And they're going to be asking you in this exercise to put in a star. Now, you don't have to find the exact star. However, you may want to just so that you satisfy your little curiosity as to where the star that they have is. And I'm searching for it right now. And I don't want to take up too much time for this video either. And if I don't find the exact star, I'll just use another one. There it is. Now, every time you hit insert, you've got one going in on the back, in the background there. So my insertion point's there, and one of them just went in. Now, you can keep hitting insert, or the smart thing to do is just to close it. And if you've got one in there, and that's the last thing you did, F4, if you hit your F4 key, that means whatever I just did, do again. So if I just keep hitting F4 here, I'm going to keep getting that same symbol. Of course, copy and paste would have also been an option, and then just keep going paste, 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 paste. Now, when you've got your symbols in there, they're like text, which means you can delete them. You can also format them. Unlike clip art, you can't do that with clip art. So here I can make it a color if I wanted to. So I just made it red. I can increase or decrease the size. So it acts like text, but it looks like clip art. So those are symbols. They're going to be asking you to put another symbol in here. And in the exercise, they want you to set a couple tabs. So here. All right, make sure you turn your ruler on before you set your tab. And now they want you to set a tab at 1, and they want you to set a tab at 2. And they're going to want you to set a symbol in here. So I'm going to insert a symbol there. So it's insert once again, and symbol, and more symbols. And I believe they're going to want you to use that one right there. So we'll insert that one there and close. And they want another one here. So I'm going to F4, and they want another one here, and they want to F4. And now they want the finger tabbed to one inch. And then they want the words tabbed to two inches. Now, for some reason, this isn't working the way I wanted it to. That's the way I wanted that. And so if it snaps back on you, just hit undo like I'm doing right here. It's trying to guess that I want something different, and it's guessing wrong. So whenever your computer tries to an autocorrect and it's not correct, just hit undo once, and it'll snap it back to what you wanted it to do. So once again, the lesson originally on symbols. So you simply put your insertion point where you want it,
go to the insert tab, go to symbol, go through the list of symbols, find the one you want, hit insert, and then format it any way you'd like.